And here come the two archers for the, the gold medal match. Victor Bulo. Of France, there he is. 18 year old. Alias Mattia Brink of Slovenia. Scores of him in the competition so far 147, 148, and 149. John, do I sense a little one point improvement in Brink in this match? Yeah. We'll see. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome to see. Yeah. Brink's a class archer, highly experienced, shoots senior World Cup, um, has a great team, three really high level competitors from from Slovenia so yeah he's, he's got to be favorite but uh, Victor Bolo was runner-up in this event last year um, so I think he lost to Brink's teammate so yeah he's got a score to settle really yeah he has Bolo scores of 145 147 and 147 both of these archers have had shoot-offs on their road to this gold medal match succeeded with that Brink in the quarterfinals and Bulo in the semi-finals against Gubini. So here we go. It's going to be Bulo to go first. And who knows, straight off the bat, that could be hugely significant. Nice adjustment from Bulo. See a lot of tension in that shot then. Long hold here for Bulo. Just hung on to it. A chance here for Brink to take a one point lead after this first end. Which he's taken. Both athletes are looking really nervous to me out there. Um, not particularly settled, either of them. Man. You know, when you came out and you just saw what we saw in the bronze medal match to see to see the two guys shoot for gold it, you know there is a bit more on this there is as i said a bit of a bursary prize payment and stuff like that so just that little bit of change between a bronze and a gold brings a lot more tension to the athletes well point margin in favor of the slovenian at the moment get the feeling this could go all the way to the last arrow who knows, a shoot off. Two hugely promising archers here. Great scene here in this arena at Nîmes. Sut de France, Archery Neem 2023. Hope you're enjoying the session of Indoor Archery World Series Youth Finals. This is the Compound Under 21 Finals. Gold medal to the winner here. Victor Bulo trailing by one point to go first in the second end. <laughs> Just dipped on him again there, but very slow shots from both of them. They're trying to be very accurate and take being careful. And that can lead to just missing in this game. No. 
There are still nerves, do you think, there, John? I mean, there's not many tens being scored at the moment. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Frank He's needs to get 50. This. Yeah. Better. Did you see on that one, he actually attacked it, and the shot was twice as quick as the previous shots, and he, he gets the 10. So, yeah, I think he's, he's spiting his aim a bit. Maybe it's the lighting. He's not adjusted. He's not seeing it very well. I don't know, but a lot of tension. Well, at the moment, both archers have just three of their three tens from their six arrows. Might have expected a higher ratio of tens than that in this gold medal match, John. But that really does emphasise how maybe the tension is getting to these two at the moment, or has got to them. Absolutely, and you can feel the the crowd, you know, have gone down. Even with a French athlete in this final, the crowd are a little bit quieter because. They're probably feeling that tension, and the athletes are very nervous. There's a lot of this final, uh, you know, is, there is prize money and prizes, and they, they both really want to win. So, scrappy start. It is. Yes, it's a good word. Scrappy. Love that description. Still opportunities here for both of them with three ends to come. Though not even halfway through this final yet. If one of these two can find their form in this end here, this could really be decisive. <laughs> Ulo starts off with a 10 again. Well, still dead even. Just over halfway through the match. Nicely done from Bulo. Two tens from his three in that end. A second end in a row. Good response from Brink. First time he's gone back to back with his two arrows and t two with two tens, John. Yeah, three ends in now, and they're just they're playing with each other. No one's no. They're both trying to not lose rather than to win. Yeah, that's a very good uh, summation so far. With six arrows left, there it is. Dead even, 86 each. That poor bot. Look at his body language from uh, Brank. His arms are folded, his shoulders are rounded. You know, he's not, he's not settled. He's not happy. He's not confident. Think back to the winners of our other matches today. You know, in Rack in Turkey, she was like, "I've got this," and uh, the Italian recurve girl. Di Francesco. Yeah. Well, even Gubini in that bronze medal match oh, in yeah. the previous one. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, no one. If you compare the, yeah, that's right. If you compare the body language of these two here to him, it's chalk and cheese. Yeah. So, interesting. Let, let's see here. Bulo. Go first again. <laughs> Well, 
Oh, that's the first time that Bulo in the match has gone back to back tens in it in an end. Oh, this 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 is a huge chance now on the fourth end. Get a point lead. Oh, oh he just missed it. Just high and right. So Frank. <laughs> yes, he responds. What a match. That was almost inevitable, wasn't it? You knew that was going to still be all square. We were all square after the second end. Well, actually, we go back to the, pre the first end. Brink had a one-point lead. Then Brulo got him with a one point in the second end to square it up, and we've been dead even since. So this match now becomes a 3-0 contest for the gold medal. This is where the years of training culminate into three very important shots. Oh, you wouldn't pick it, John. I'm not going to pick it. Could go either way. Shoot off. <laughs> I think the one who wants to win it most now will. I can't tell you who that is by looking at them. No, that's right. Well, here we go. 115 each. Victor Bulo, the world number one. Alias Matia Brink, the world number two. Three arrows to come in this match. Beautiful. Great start for Bulo. Perfect time for a 10 for Bulo. Really was. Putting the pressure on. Oh, he's missed it. Just high. So Bulo can win the gold right here with a 10. Oh, he's missed. He's just missed. Now Brink. Needs a 10 to send it to a shoot-off. Anything less than that. And Bulo wins. Yep. Oh, Brink's got the 10. <laughs> Brink has the 10. We're going to a shoot-off. What a match. Just felt that was coming all the way, didn't you? It's almost been the same story. Every end, Bolo shoots 10, 10, 9. And Brink shoots a 10, a 9, and then a 10. It's been... Oh... Yeah. Well, it's been, oh, a, it's been a, a match. <laughs> it's been a match of opportunities for both of them, John. Yes, and neither of them have taken it. So I don't know what's going to happen in the shoot-off. I have no, I have, I have no feeling. Normally, I get an idea, but I really don't. No, and we go back to shoot-offs, but for both of these archers, they've both had shoot-offs to date. Quarter-final. Yeah. Fabrizio Aloisi of Italy. Brink beat him 10-9 in a shoot-off to get through to the semis. And Victor Bulo beat Lorenzo Gubini in the semis. He was, uh, they both got 10s, but Bulo was closest to the center. Yeah. So here he is. They both had wins in shoot-offs. It's all set up for a terrific finale. The only thing I can say is Bolo, when he has shot 10s in this match, his arrows have been more central, where Brink's been catching the 10. Bolo's 10s have been in the 10. So, it's a slight advantage to Bolo if he can get a 10 first arrow. So, all down to this to see who wins the Indoor Archery World Series Youth Compound Under 21 men's title. 
New targets are on the board. It's one arrow each. Closest to the centre wins. Here we go, Victor Bulo of France in the white. Alias Matija Brink of Slovenia in the green top. Here's Victor Bulo to go first. Oh, wow. What a beauty. So Brink needs to go dead center as well. He's high. It's going to be the Frenchman who gets the gold medal, Victor Bulo. What an arrow from him in the shoot off.